Hi everyone, I have one more demo I want to show you. It's one I did this week for the first time, and I've never done it before because to me it's a little cliche. It's the iron filings moving around in a magnetic field. There's already pictures of it in your textbook, so I've never bothered, but I did it this week and I found it's really good for one specific geometry. So here we go, I'm going to show it to you this way. I also want to experiment with this new medium of shooting a demo by myself on a cell phone. Now Rice will always uh, still continue to let me do fancy demos with uh, better camera equipment, but let's just see how effective this can be as well. So first let's look at the setup. So here we have a solenoid. It's just wire wrapped around a little piece of see-through plastic so we can have our iron filing sit right along the middle of the solenoid. It's hooked up to the high current source that I've used in a few other demos and you'll know when the current comes on because it's very loud. That's turning on the machine, and when I throw the switch, current flows, which of course you'll know because you'll hear it. We're passing a current of about ooh, 40 amps. That's a lot of current. What we're going to do is put our iron filings in the solenoid. Would you like iron filings with your solenoid? Sure, of course you would. Yes, here you go. How much? Oh, that much. Okay. Let's fill them in. And as you know, these little pieces of iron are magnetic, so they will all move and align with the field. And when you first sprinkle them on, they're just randomly positioned. Oh, that's, that's a lot. Okay. Here we go. So now, if I get really close, you can see they're all sitting in that plane right down the middle of the solenoid, randomly aligned. And now, I'm going to turn on the power supply. Nothing happened except the lights flashed for a minute because I haven't thrown the switch yet, okay? So now, we get a good look, and I'm gonna throw the switch. Instantly, the little filings aligned. You saw that. But what I want you to see is that outside of the solenoid, there's no alignment at all. So one thing I've talked about in the lecture was how the field outside the solenoid will be zero. And I said for an ideal solenoid, I'm trying to give you some arguments about it, about the number of field lines being finite inside the solenoid, but they can spread into space outside the solenoid. And that's why the field strength outside is so low, and for an ideal solenoid, it becomes zero. And that usually leads to lots of discussion about why is it making it down to zero. But here is a demonstration where you can see it goes to zero very fast. So you can see all those little filaments, all those little iron filings are well aligned inside. And as soon as you come outside, they're not aligned anymore. So there you go, my first selfie cell phone demo. Hope you enjoyed it. Since I'm only an associate professor, I still have to clean up after myself. So let me show you how to clean up iron filings. So if you just get a magnet and wrap it in a little dish rag, you can sit here, oh, here we go. And pretty much just vacuum them up all over the place pretty strong magnet they never fall off they'll stay on there and then when you're done you can drop them right back into the container I need to clean up well they won't let me play if I don't get everything cleaned up and then this step uh, hold on This is not part of the official demo. I can't get the lid off. You get the idea. Then we're going to drop this into the container. 